Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the Google Sheets API to create new worksheets to an existing Google Sheets. So the Google Sheets API is actually uh, quite complex. And just because you have so many different things and layers that make up to the Google Sheets uh, application. And just because uh, Spreadsheet by itself is already a very uh, complex application, and building so many uh, APIs on top of the spreadsheet application is pretty impressive in my opinion. But anyway, let's take a look at the uh, Google Sheets documentation. So to create new worksheets to extend Google Sheets, uh, we need to use the spreadsheet uh, resource and under the batch update method. And from the request body, we need to use the, the this uh, request property uh, to specify our worksheet properties. Uh, so here, let me just uh, drill down to requests, requests, and here if you are uh, under the content or on this page, if you search for add uh, worksheets, it should, should be add sheets, okay, right here. So it should be add sheet requests. And we're going to use the add sheet requests uh, property to send a request to the sheet API to create brand new worksheets to an existing uh, Google Sheet. I'm going to skip the JSON representation. And just because if I want to drill down to properties and below the properties, there's more properties and this can go for a while. And instead, I'm just going to show you how to uh, write a Python script to add worksheet to an existing Google Sheet file. Now to do that, so here, let's create a blank uh, Google Sheet file. So going to start from scratch. And I'm going to call this file name uh, as sheets demo. So here you want to grab the Google sheet ID. So here's on the, uh, from the link. You want to grab this ID right here and copy. Now open your Python editor and, and here I already have my Python editor open. And you want to uh, save the uh, Google Sheet ID somewhere. So I'm going to store uh, the Google Sheet ID to a variable called G Sheets ID. And I'm going to import my create service function. And now we need to create a couple of variables uh, to store our API information. So here we have the uh, secret JSON file. And let me grab the token uh, real quick. So here I'm using the Google Sheets, uh, Google API environment. So my client secret JSON file should be this one. Let me try. And I also need the API uh, API service name. And I'm using uh, Sheets. And the API version. Now for the scopes, uh, oops, scopes. I'm going to use the spreadsheet scope and that's going to give me uh, full permission to everything. So googleapis.com and spreadsheets. Now let's create our service instance. So taking the uh, create service function we need to provide the client secret file and the API name. Oh, it should be API service, not server. API service name. In API version. And last one will be the scopes. Now let's just run line one to line eight on this for now. Okay, so the sheet service has been created successfully. Now let me move the panel to the right. Now we have created uh, the sheets uh, service instance. Now we can access different uh, Google Sheets API methods. And if we go back to the documentation, so uh, we want to use the spreadsheet service. 
And here I'm going to create a spreadsheet resource uh, instance. So I'm going to call this uh, object or instance spreadsheet. And service the spreadsheets. So let me just check the data type. So it's a resource uh, data type. Now let's create our request body. So this is going to be the JSON body that we're going to pass um, to the to this uh, to this batch update method. So I should let me go back. So let me go back to the batch update method. And from the batch update method, so we have uh, one required parameter, which is the spreadsheet ID. And the second parameter is the request body. You want to pass the request's properties that contains uh, all the metadata information that you want to initialize when you create the uh, brand new O sheets. Now let's go back. And so here we have the request body. And it's going to be a dictionary. So the first uh, property will be the request is element. And it's going to be a list. So here I'm going to use the add sheets uh, property within the requests uh, property. And this should be a dictionary. So let me move this inside. And here we have another dictionary. So let me just double check. Now let's go back to the documentation. If I go to requests and look for uh, ash sheets, so under the ash request, I need to figure out what metadata I want to provide to the uh, to the worksheet that I'm I'm about to create. So here on the properties and here's the sheet properties. So if you look at uh, different fields, so the sheet ID is uh, read only. So we are not going to populate the sheet ID. But we are going to populate the title. And maybe I'll skip the index and the sheet type. So I'm not going to touch that. And hitting tab color. Maybe I'll use the, I'll do the tab color. So I'll take title and tab color. So within the S sheet property, I'm going to um, provide the properties. And this is going to be a dictionary. So here I want to provide a title. Let's call the title uh, uh, New Sheets X. And for the tab color, so here it's going to be a dictionary. And let's assign the red color. Let's do 0.44. And green will be, let's do uh, 0.99. And for blue, let's do uh, point zero point point 0.5. Now this is everything we need for the request body. Now let's go ahead and make the API call. So taking the spreadsheets uh, instance, and we're going to use the batch update method. And I'm going to store the uh, the JSON uh, output to a response uh, object. So remember, uh, we have two parameters. So the first parameter will be the uh, spreadsheet ID. And here we already have the Google Sheet ID stored in the G Sheets ID variable. And for the body, we can just uh, pass the request body uh, JSON. Uh, object. Sorry, uh, that should be it. dot execute since we want to uh, fire the, the API call. Now you find a uh, highlight request body all the way to uh, this spreadsheet batch update. Now if I just run uh, the selection of code, GCID is not defined. Oh, so maybe I forgot. Okay, let me try again. Uh, so this time I'm going to run line 11 to line 32. So this time I have, I have uh, 
insufficient、uh, privilege. Now let me delete my、uh, token file. So seems like I was using a different account. So here I'm going to just print the response, and I'm going to just run the Python script from、uh, from scratch. And here's the login、uh, screen. Now I'm going to use the、uh, data analysis、uh, account. And I'm going to、uh, give permissions. So allow and allow again. And here's our JSON response. So here we、we'll、have the spreadsheet ID and. So here we、we'll、create our first、uh, Google Sheet with the Google Sheet ID assigned to this、uh, number. Now let me go back to my browser, and if we look at the the tab below, so here's the new Sheet X、uh, tab that we just created using Google Sheet API. Now here's the thing: so using the request body, you can only create one more sheet、uh, per request. And what happens if you want to create multiple worksheets? In this case, I'll be creating a function. So here I'm going to call this function add、uh, sheets. And within my add sheet function, I'm going to have two parameters. So the first parameter will be the Google Sheet ID, and the second parameter will be the Google Sheet name. So let's call this parameter sheets name, and we'll replace the title with the sheet name、uh, parameter. And here I've got a colon, and we'll、uh, indent the、uh, the code, right? And lastly, we need to、uh, put a response inside the the function, and return a response. So here, let's do try and. In here, I'll put accept exception. In case if we、uh, encounter error, so here let's capture the error message. And all right, that's it. So here, let me go back to my Google Sheets, and let me just delete this、uh, new Sheet X、uh, worksheet. And let me close all the terminals. Now let's say I want to create、uh, four different worksheets. Let's call this、uh, X sheets. And inside this list, I want to create. I want to provide the names of the worksheet I want to create. So let's call this、uh, North, South, East, and West. We just need to iterate、uh, each item one by one. So for item in X sheets. And we'll call the function. So the function is add sheets, and we want to provide the Google Sheet ID, and as well as the worksheet name. So the worksheet name is,、uh, in this case, will just be item. And let's、uh, let's change that to name. So name, full name in X sheets. Okay. Now, so here's my Google Sheets. And if I press F5 to run the Python、uh, program, right? So、uh, four sheets got created. Now, if we go back to the Google Sheets, and here's the four worksheets I just generated using the Python script. So north, south, east, and west. Alright, guys. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the tutorial useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.